Here is a video on how to create your document in MLA format. So the first thing we will need to do is select the Drive app. Next, we are ready to select a folder in which our document will go in. So we will go ahead and select ELA 7. And now we are ready to create a document. So we will select the plus sign in the lower right hand corner. And we will select Google Docs. Now we are ready to title our document. So today's date is April 11. So I will put four period 11 space and I will title this MLA format. Okay, now our document is created and properly titled. Now we are ready to set it up in MLA format. So the first thing we want to do is change the font. MLA format, the font is Times New Roman, so I will hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And I will select font. And we're going to change the font from Arial, and we're going to scroll down and select Times New Roman. All right, and now we will select the size. It's 12 points, so we just move it up one. So Times New Roman, 12-point font. That is always MLA format. Now we are ready to select the spacing of our paper. So we're going to hit paragraph, and within line spacing, we want to click it up till it says 2.0, or double-spaced as it's commonly known. So Times New Roman, 12-point font, double-spaced, or line spacing 2.0. Now we are ready to create our header. So the first thing we want to do is insert our page numbers. So we're going to hit the plus sign. And we're going to scroll down until it says page number. And we want it in the upper right-hand corner. So we will select the first option. And before our page number goes our last name. So we are going to type in our last name. Then you will hit space and then select one. That way, whenever there is a page break, it'll automatically insert our page number for us. Now we are ready to create our header. And the first thing we need to do is put our full name. Next, we will hit return. See how it's all automatically double spaced there. Then goes our teacher name. So I will type in Mr. Presley but you will type in whoever is your teacher. Then we will hit return again. Next goes class and period. So we will type in M E L A seven. And I like the little dash, so I'm gonna select that little forward slash and type in the period. So we will just say this is period zero and hit return. And next, this is where students always get fumbled up, but we will type in the formal date and the formal date, the day always comes first. So since today is the 11th, I will type in 11 space, then we will type out the entire month. So that today is the month of April. I will type April and then finally the year 2025. And that is the formal date, day, month and year. Now, if you want to title your paper, 
Make sure you center align. You hit the center align button up at the top, and then you can title your paper so that everything is centered. And when you go back to typing your paragraphs, make sure that you click the left align up at the top. So that way when you begin typing, all of your writing starts from the left hand side rather than the center. And that is how you set up your paper in MLA format, Gucci 